Professor Nancy Ip. I'd like to uh, thank the organizers for the kind invitation and give me this opportunity to share with you uh, the plan uh, for the China Brain Science Project. So as a neuroscientist, um, I have participated uh, actively in the uh, discussion and also preparation of the proposal, uh, which is now uh, under serious consideration by the Chinese government. So in this presentation, uh, I will provide an overview uh, of our plan for the China uh, Brain Science Project. So as you know, uh, many governments uh, are now putting uh, brain science research uh, as a priority in the national agenda, and China is no exception. Uh, of the 1.3 billion people in China, it has been estimated that about uh, one-fifth of them um, suffers uh, from a neurological disorder in their lifetime. Uh, and yet, uh, with no effective uh, treatment or cure, uh, this has posed a tremendous uh, so uh, societal and economic uh, burden to the country. And uh, we believe the core issue is the lack of knowledge uh, of brain function. Uh, understanding the brain uh, is critical for us to develop effective uh, treatments, cures, and diagnostic tools. So there is an urgent need uh, for more basic and translational research. The advent uh, of new technologies uh, have unlocked a new era of brain science, and these include uh, new imaging tools, uh, such as in vivo two-photon imaging, uh, new labeling tools, uh, such as clarity, and new uh, neuromodulation tools, such as optogenetics. So about uh, two years ago, um, a panel of uh, neuroscientists, uh, including Professor Mu Ming Pu and myself, uh, we have initiated a discussion on whether uh, China should consider uh, putting together a China Brain Science uh, Project. And this has led to uh, subsequent uh, strategic uh, discussions at the national level. And after many rounds of meetings, uh, a consensus uh, has emerged. That is, uh, that the brain project will target uh, the health of the human brain. And uh, we would like to uh, develop um, innovative tools to understand how we think uh, and learn and undertake studies to unveil the uh, brain disease complexities, and also to develop a genetic database and biobanks to facilitate the development and tools uh, for, of tools for prevention, diagnosis, and treatment. So we'd like to consider uh, China's brain research environment and look at the unique advantages uh, that we will leverage on uh, for this particular project. So the, um, the, brain, the China Brain Science Project uh, would have a broader research focus that cover both uh, basic and applied research, and in particular, it would emphasize on addressing the issues related to public health. The uh, Chinese neuroscience community has been uh, growing, and there is a large talent pool uh, of both researchers and also skilled technicians. There is tremendous interest from uh, scientists of uh, other disciplines, and they are actively engaging uh, in this uh, discussion. I mentioned earlier that one-fifth uh, of the uh, Chinese population uh, uh, suffers from neurological disorders, so there is therefore a huge uh, uh, number of these samples that we can have uh, access to. And this is particularly essential for us to investigate the genetic basis uh, of brain disorders. Other advantages include uh, availability of non-human primates and also the ease of uh, social uh, mobilization on a national scale. So in the last decade, uh, groundwork has been laid uh, for the China Brain Science Project. I'd like to point out that the brain and cognitive science was listed as one of uh, the eight frontiers of science in the national program. And uh, substantial resources have been put into uh, neuroscience research, for example, through the National uh, Basic Research Program, uh, National Natural Science Foundation, and Chinese Academy of Sciences. And again, uh, because of the national strategic uh, support uh, for neuroscience research, uh, groundwork 
uh, has been laid uh, for the project. And uh, advances have been made, for example, in the physical uh, mapping of the neural circuit in the mouse brain, uh, gene-modified non-human uh, primate models, uh, Beijing uh, brain bank, uh, et cetera. So in terms of um, uh, planning and implementation of such a project uh, of this uh, large scale, it would require uh, extensive coordination at all levels. Um, I'd like to point out that the Chinese Academy of Sciences uh, recently established an innovation center of excellence for brain science, and universities also are implementing multiple uh, collaborative in innovation centers for uh, brain science. So through these kind of multi-center efforts that are led by researchers, and also coordination of various uh, funding resources, uh, as well as multidisciplinary effort, a national uh, a consensus uh, has emerged for this uh, China Brain Science project. It will have uh, three uh, key objectives. The core is really to uh, improve the understanding of neural circuit uh, mechanisms of cognitive functions, and to develop uh, effective approaches in early diagnosis and also early intervention of major brain disorders, and to develop uh, brain-machine intelligence technologies. And along these various processes, we plan to develop brain research platforms, both basic and clinical. So the uh, Chinese philosophy uh, behind this uh, China Brain Science Project, in Chinese, it is called yi ti liang yi. So what it means is that we need to build the core and develop the applications. So for the first objective, which is on uh, understanding the neural circuit mechanisms that underlie cognitive processes, there are two parts to this particular objective. Uh, first is to conduct basic research in order to understand the neural circuits and cognitive functions. And second is to develop uh, new technologies for imaging, recording, and brain manipulation. We believe that these two parts are complementary in the sense that uh, basic research will lead to development of innovative technology, which in turn can uh, facilitate the exploration of the studies on neural circuits. Now, the uh, uh, cognitive functions in terms of the focus areas would include uh, sensory perception, uh, learning and memory, uh, attention and decision making, etc. And our aim is to understand how molecules and reactions in the neural circuits can lay the foundation for human cognitive function and to identify the key regulatory uh, targets. Now, in order to achieve these goals, we have to establish uh, basic research platforms. And to just uh, give a few examples, uh, they will include uh, neuronal labeling and uh, also circuit tracing technologies, uh, in vivo uh, recording technology, methods for manipulating uh, neural activity, transgenic non-human uh, primate models, and data analytics uh, platform. The second objective I mentioned earlier is to um, focus on the early diagnosis and early intervention of brain disorders. And we aim to understand the disease mechanisms because it is critical uh, before we can develop um, effective therapies. We aim to establish a public database, uh, libraries of patient samples, and technology platforms. So with these approaches, uh, we'll be um, on the right path to discover uh, biomarkers for early diagnosis and disease uh, monitoring. And uh, in doing so, identify possible new therapeutic uh, targets. Now, there are many uh, uh, brain disorders, and we would like to focus on the major ones. And uh, they fall into three groups. Uh, developmental brain uh, disorders includes uh, autism and mental retardation. Psychiatric disorders, uh, uh, depression and addiction, and neurodegenerative diseases uh, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. And we aim to unravel the underlying pathophysiological basis uh, of the disease and also interaction between genetic and environmental factors. Now, uh, the knowledge that we have gained uh, from those studies will put it in 
would put us in a good position to develop early diagnostic tools, including molecular imaging and cognitive markers. And we also aim to develop early intervention approaches, such as pharmacological uh, treatments, including uh, traditional Chinese medicine, uh, physiological and physical modulations and also leveraging on our unique uh, advantage of the availability of non-human uh, primate models, we aim to develop uh, new disease models. Now, clinical research uh, platforms are, are particularly essential to achieve this uh, objective, and we aim to establish the national database for brain imaging, a uh, blood-based uh, biomarker, uh, biobank for brain disorders, and also national uh, brain bank. The third objective that I mentioned uh, earlier involves uh, brain-machine intelligence uh, technologies, and I will not go into a great detail here. Suffice to mention that we aim to use um, interdisciplinary approaches to understand and simulate uh, brain function and uh, facilitate the advancements in uh, various uh, disciplines. So to summarize again, uh, for the China Brain Science Project, we plan to combine uh, both basic and apply uh, uh, research approaches in order to understand the uh, neural basis of cognition, uh, to uh, develop early diagnosis and early intervention of major brain disorders, and uh, to develop brain machine uh, intelligence technologies. And our long-term uh, overarching goal is to uh, contribute to the promotion uh, of good health and uh, also for industrial uh, development. Thank you very much for your attention.